Hi, my name is Ido from Dexup. Today I'm going to show you how to create an auto-labeling workflow using MLflow Model Registry and Label Studio. Integrated by Dexup's latest open source tool, LS Configurable Model, which is created by Jinan. Thanks Jinan for creating the project. Normally, to create an auto-labeling workflow, you're going to need to deploy your model and run a web server that conforms to the way Label Studio expects to read data. It can be sometimes long and tedious, and you have to really understand how to set up a web server and how Label Studio reads data. The new open source tool that we created basically enables you to do all of it without any of the knowledge. You can use a few pre-configured models that we set here for common use cases, or use your own model and actually tailor, tailor make it to your specific needs. I wrote a notebook with all the instructions. You can download it or you can read the, the documentation and do it yourself. The first step will be to clone the project and run the Docker container of the project. So I'm gonna just copy paste these lines to the terminal. Make sure to run it on a separate terminal. It cannot run on Google Colab because it uses Docker. This Docker container is where basically the model is gonna run at the end. So it's important to leave the terminal open and also make sure you have the Docker daemon running, otherwise it won't work. Next step will be to install the Dexab client. I already have it installed. And then get our data source. Okay, data sources are where our data is organized in Dexab. My data source is called images. We can see it here. That's my data source, images. So I'm gonna get it with a Python client. Now, since I'm labeling images, I'm gonna choose a pre-configured model of polygon segmentation. One thing to notice is that my code needs to run from within the folder LS configurable model. That's just the way it works right now. Next, I'm going to get my ngrok token. Ngrok is basically a service that lets you forward your locally run web server to the internet without dealing with cloud deployments and all sorts of stuff. Here, instead of using actually ngrok and configuring it, we're just going to get the token give the token to the tool and the tool is going to do all the configuration for us. So this is basically the magic line. Add annotation model from config. We have the name of our Label Studio project. Yeah, which is also images. And the ngrok token. So I'm going to run this line. And after a few seconds, I'm going to see. Backend added successfully. Now, what it means is that I can go into my project. And now instead of manually annotating everything, I can open the image and annotations will appear magically on the photo. So I'm opening this and in the time it's loading, we can see in our terminal that the server is making a request to our machine learning model and getting back annotations. Now, if I want, I can sort the annotations by the confidence score of the model and this way I can easily see the annotations that are probably wrong. I can fix them. And after I fix them, I can submit them. And this is how I created my auto-labeling workflow. Note that this is using a pre-configured model. If you have a more specific use case, you can use your own model with the same tool. Thanks for watching.